weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, here's something cool or wintry to do this weekend, pun intended. They have the annual winter festival in downtown Worcester that started today at noon. And here's a little preview for you. There's ice skating and alpine slide and ice sculptures and everything wraps up tonight with a Bon Jovi tribute band that starts at 7 p.m. And things get going again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. All right, Sydney, so today was beautiful and sunny. I had my windows down going to work today. Can I continue this trend? <laughs> well, I don't know. It might have been a little cold for the windows. I don't know. Down. I thought it was great. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but it did feel great as you're heading out the door. And people like Darren with the windows down, excited about that sunshine. We're going to watch temperatures drop pretty quickly overnight tonight. That's what comes along with these skies clearing out. We're going to see more radiational cooling. So as we have those temperatures in the low 30s right now, they're going to be quick to drop through the overnight hours and we're going to see this trend as we head through much of our week into next week. So the rest of the weekend into next week, it's going to be a little bit warmer in the afternoons, mild feeling warmer though because of that sunshine and then the overnight hours are going to be on the chilly side. Some other good news that we have now sunrise times are before seven o'clock in the morning and sunsets after five o'clock. We have over 10 hours of daylight from here forward and it's going to be growing pretty Pretty quickly, we're gaining about two to three minutes of daylight on average each day through the month of February. So more daylight. We're also going to watch those temperatures slowly start rising and those normal temperatures slowly start rising as well as those longer days come into the picture. So we're staying mainly dry going through our next couple of days. If you are along the Cape or the South Shore, you're going to start to see clouds coming into the picture by the second half of Monday and even a stray snow shower is possible as the system pretty close by is going to be swinging in some moisture, possibly as we go through uh, late Monday into early Tuesday. Temperatures will be there. It's just how close this system comes on if we're actually going to see any snow out of it. But it does look like we're going to get in on at least a snow shower or two, likely not being all that impactful as we go into our day on Tuesday. So those overnight low temperatures tonight, 24 degrees for Boston, 25 for Norwood, Plymouth, 25 degrees as well. It's going to be feeling colder, though, as you're waking up and heading out the door tomorrow. Those temperatures are going to be feeling a little bit more like the upper teens and low 20s and even into the afternoon. We're going to see areas like Plymouth at 35 degrees feeling like 25 degrees and areas like Worcester at 34 degrees feeling like 27 degrees. So most of us are going to feel like the middle to upper 20s when you do factor in that wind. We are going to have a bit of a gusty day tomorrow and then as you're waking up on Monday morning, we're going to have feels like temperatures around 15 degrees. So it is going to be feeling cold for the mornings, but once we get into the afternoons, that's when you can find a little spot of sunshine and hang out and it's going to be feeling nice these next couple of afternoons as temperatures are rising. So high temperatures tomorrow, upper 30s and low 40s, a day a lot like what we saw today, maybe just a few degrees warmer as we go through our day tomorrow compared to today, but we're still going to be getting in on that sunshine and a really quiet stretch of weather. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to see very quiet conditions, some clouds building in on Friday and temperatures jumping up on Friday ahead of our next system that comes in on Saturday. So it does look like a week from today we are going to be getting in on some rain chances, but at that point we will need it because we're going to be pretty dry these next five to six days. And then on Sunday we'll be clearing out before another system brings us more rain chances. But at this time, just enjoy those nice conditions that we have out there, those nice sky conditions and be aware it might feel colder than the actual temperature because of the wind that will be sticking around tomorrow and Monday. All right, Sydney, thank you for tracking that for us with that 10-day, not so bad. We'll